So I started buying stuff, uh, chipper and small chip truck, and then a bunch of equipment, started buying saws, you know, the normal progression. I would get more work, I would need bigger equipment to be able to get the jobs done, I would need more people to help me. Eventually I ended up with a, a full outfit minus the, uh, minus the, the bucket and I was doing about 250,000 a year which is pretty good for only working you know three or four days a week because of the fire department but the toll it was taking on my marriage and just the profit margin wasn't there it was basically 10% profit margin for all that time I was putting in because my trucks were sitting when I was at the fire station and couldn't find reasonable employees <coughs> you know it just that normal normal cycle of a failure of a business so I, I decided to cut my losses and sell all my stuff and completely lost my ass on it everything was paid for but I didn't even I didn't even get half of what I paid for it so <coughs> then I went to work for um uh, a really 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 good company and and that lasted for a while and then I moved on to not so much of a good company and that lasted for a while and then you know here I am now paying the bills and uh, doing the best I can with the situation that's less than optimal for me but that's all right something's good's gonna come on so anyway um, you know that's my tree work progression um, not very exciting that's how I got into tree work and really I should be dead so uh, who am I you know honestly I thought I know who I thought I knew who I was um, sorry about the shadows you know I'm driving into the Sun I thought I knew who I was and then uh, three and a half years ago my life completely totally unraveled so, you know, basically it's, it's three and a half years later, I still really don't have any idea who I am. Um, I'm certainly not who I thought I would be at 45 years old, but, um, you know, I'm doing it. Uh, basically a content individual. Um, Mostly who I am is I am the support staff for a six-year-old boy named Jack. Um, I take care of the logistics, uh, the finances, uh, transportation, cooking needs, uh, you know, pretty much everything. So it's me and my man, and uh, I'm a dad. Um, I wear a lot of different hats. Um, I'm a dad who's uh, petrified that I'm going to completely fucked my child's life up um, and haunted by the fact that every major decision I make um, either would or would not be approved of by my wife so that's like a, a haunting that I, I live with you know I don't know if I'm doing the right thing for him I don't know if I'm doing the right thing for her you know what she would want me to do it's really complicated um, I find parenting to be easily the most difficult thing I have ever done in my entire life um, it's petrifying um, I love him he loves me I have such a good relationship with him um, probably much stronger relationship with him than it would have been had my wife not died um, I'm closer to him than than I ever was to my own father um, you know, so if anything good can come out of this situation, I guess that would be it, you know, and my ultimate hope in, in life is that when he's my age, that he'll be able to look back and say, you know, Dad, I, I understand how difficult it was. You know, I was not even three years old when Mom died, and, you know, I just respect you and think you did an amazing job and did the very best you can so that's like my whole goal in life is to not um 
raise a completely screwed up human being. I think I'm doing pretty good. He's pretty happy. He's pretty cool. People love him. He's like a rock star. So I'm a dad um, in the fire department. Uh, I'm a completely different guy. I'm I'm like a renegade. Uh, the administration hates me because I speak my mind and I tell them exactly what I think. Um, and nobody likes nobody likes the truth when the truth hurts. So it's been a pretty rough career for me. I'm pretty outspoken. I'm one of those guys um, that that people either like me or they hate me. So there's no middle ground. There's nobody out there that's going to say, eh, eh Canali's all right. They're either going to say that guy is a complete asshole or that guy is somebody I'd want to work for. I take really good care of my guys. I protect them. Um, you know, I filter the bullshit and I try to create an environment where they want to come to work every day. Um, that's my whole goal is them. They're, they're really the only reason I have a job. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of a sort of a guarded, sort of a different person there. Um, I guess I'm kind of like an introvert with an asshole complex. Um, you know, I like to be around people that I like to be around when I like to be around them. And, you know, it's kind of on my terms. Um,